Well, a new study has researchers calling for mandatory safety standards to eliminate window blinds that have cords. The study finds that blinds with cords continue to pose a serious strangulation risk. Anna Warner shows us what happened to one family. <laughs> like her namesake, four-year-old Presley Marie Eastburn loved to sing. It's raining, it's pouring. I miss her holding my face and looking into my eyes, telling me, you know, how much she loved me. A year ago, Presley was in the family room watching TV alone for about 10 minutes when her parents say she made her way to the window and became entangled in the cord attached to the blinds. All the life had been sucked out of her. Presley had been strangled. She died five days later. Now, doctors in the journal Pediatrics are calling for immediate action, saying in a report that window blinds were involved in more than 16,000 injuries and 271 deaths among children over a 25-year period. Dr. Gary Smith co-authored the study. It's just completely unacceptable that we continue to see children die from this cause when we've known about this problem for over 70 years. You can pull this cord right here. This video from an advocacy group shows how easily they can become entangled. Manufacturers say they're addressing the problem. In a statement, their trade group says a voluntary process with the Consumer Product Safety Commission will result next year in the most significant change to the window covering safety standard ever, with a requirement that all blinds sold in retail stores or online be cordless or have inaccessible cords, a change they say should cover more than 80% of products sold. Last year alone, children who died included a two-year-old from Florida, a three-year-old from Ohio, a three-year-old from Texas, and Presley, the little girl who used to sing along with mom to a favorite story. She would sing it, as long as I'm living, my mommy will be. The Eastburns say they were told the blinds they were sold had child safety features, features they claim did not work properly. They are suing both the manufacturer and the retailer of their blinds. The retailer's attorney told us they did not install the blinds. The manufacturer did not respond to our request for comment. Anna Werner, CBS News, New York. The study found that on average, blinds with cords kill one child a month.